It's estimated that nearly 12,000 people have no place to call home in New Jersey. Tour the state and you'll find just 61 homeless shelters serving both families and individuals. Do the math, it adds up to one shelter for every 194 people seeking a safe place to spend the night. There's a lot of things that need to be done to actually solve the issue. It's not just one solution. NJTV assembled the data, comparing the number of homeless people to the number of shelters available in each county. Counties with the most lopsided ratios include Monmouth, Ocean, and Burlington. In fact, Monmouth has only one shelter for an estimated 564 homeless men and women. Ocean and Burlington counties each support over 400 homeless people and each offers only one individual or family shelter. That, according to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. After Superstorm Sandy, Ocean and Monmouth counties saw their homeless populations spike. Tent communities cropped up, makeshift housing for desperate people who feel there is no place else to go. I'm looking to get permanent housing somewhere. Along with Salem and Sussex, Passaic County boasts the best ratio of homeless population to available shelters. Here at Eva's Village, they offer over 80 beds for men, women, and children, and also provide 15 support programs designed to end homelessness. Right now, I'm a full-time culinary student in training. Zachariah Sanderson's lived at Eva's for three months and says without the combination of a bed and a support program like job training, he doesn't know where he would be. Probably would, uh, I would definitely would be struggling, you know, I, uh, or, and or have to make my way to a place like Passaic County. Shelters are not the only option. Counties and shelters like this one offer dozens and dozens of support programs to temporarily and permanently house the homeless. Each community has a different way that they organize their sheltering system. Some communities do have the traditional emergency shelters and other communities use um, funds to put people in hotels or motels if they don't have those traditional shelters or to supplement the shelters that they do have. Burlington County, for example, has an aggressive 10-year plan to end homelessness. Every day, Monmouth County places 200 homeless people in hotels and motels. Across the state, this patchwork of solutions tries to keep pace with the problem of homelessness. In Patterson, I'm Christy Duffy, NJTV News.